Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter three, lesson three of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. During this lesson, we will be skipping activity two, so let's go ahead and get started. As ecologists working for Natural Resources Rescue, we're investigating why the soil matter can be different in different places. Figuring out the answer to this question might help us understand how the soil in the project area is different from the soil in the healthy area of the Costa Rican rainforest. We need to know more information about soil and how it can be different. We'll investigate by changing matter in the soil in the simulation and observing what happens. As we investigate the soil in the sim, we're going to complete some questions. These can be found on page 64 of your ecosystem restoration workbook or on page three of your chapter three, lesson three activity packet. To see the sim, you can continue with this video or you can access the simulation through Amplify. To open the simulation, you are going to log on to Amplify. You're going to click on ecosystem restoration unit and then you're going to choose the orange box with the number one on it. I'm going to do that now. As we do the simulation, let's think about this question. What happened to the soil when the decomposers or the mushrooms were removed? So let's go ahead and we're going to remove the mushrooms. Okay, and let's observe what happens. So I can see that the rabbits have started to wither and look a little sad. Same with the plants. Let's keep observing and see what happens with the mushrooms still removed. I've now noticed that the wolves have also started to wither. So I'm starting to think that maybe mushrooms are pretty important to our soil and our ecosystem. I'm going to go ahead and add mushrooms back just to see if anything changes. So I've noticed that the plants, the rabbits, and the foxes have all started to perk up. So again, like I said earlier, I'm thinking that decomposers like mushrooms are very important to ecosystems. Let's turn back to the presentation. So now that we've observed the simulation, let's answer this question that we were keeping in mind. What happened to the soil when the decomposers or the mushrooms were removed? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson three activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. Now let's answer question two. Did you observe anything else happening? To answer this question again, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson three activity packet in a notebook. You can think about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Again, pause the video and answer question two. Think about what we already know, what we observed in the sim, and what we read about nutrients in Walk in the Woods. As you keep these in mind, answer this question. What ideas do we have so far about nutrients? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson three work activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause this video and answer question three. Remember our matter chart. There are different parts of an ecosystem that are all made of matter. Let's add decomposers and nutrients to our chart because those are also made of matter. So now we have animals are made of matter, plants, water, air, soil, decomposers, and nutrients are all made of matter. The key concept we have really solidified so far is that decomposers release nutrients from dead plants and animals into the soil. 
Let's keep this key concept in mind as we continue on with this lesson and the rest of our chapter.